Today we're talking about Windows 10 hidden features and yes, there are many of them. Number 5 and number 10 are my personal favorite. Let me know which was yours in the comment below. And if you want to know how to level up your copy and paste, voice dictation and many more, don't worry, I got you. Here is what you need to know. And welcome to another episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. My name is Liron Segev where I make tech simple. If you're into phones, gadgets, apps, tips and tricks on how to, hit that subscribe button and let's get on to today's show. This is the secret shutdown menu. Right click anywhere on the desktop, choose new, choose shortcut, paste the line that will be in the description. Simply paste the whole thing, click on next. Once you've done that, give it a name. Um, I typically do something like shortcut and then click on finished. Okay, now watch this. Double click on it and it brings down this cool shutdown facility. And drag it down and it will shut down your computer. Whilst we're still on the desktop, right click anywhere, choose new, choose folder. Now for the folder name, very important is to copy and paste the folder name exactly as it is in the description. This is gonna access something called God Mode. Now, what is God Mode? Double click on it. And then you'll see it's a folder that essentially contains all the settings that you can customize on your Windows machine. Right, let's say you've got lots of things open. I've got a YouTube channel open here. I've got a Word document open here. And I wanna quickly see something on my desktop. A little hidden button on the corner, very bottom right hand side. Click on it and it minimizes everything, gives you access to your desktop. Click on it again, it maximizes everything that you have open. Why that's hidden, no idea. But you can also customize it even further. Click on settings. Once you're in settings, click on personalization. Then on the left hand side, select the taskbar. Click on that. And then you'll see an option for preview. You can actually enable that and you'll see what it does. Instead of just minimizing everything, it just gives you a preview of something that's on your desktop. You might wanna use this in case you wanna see a file name or a folder name, anything that's kept on the actual desktop itself. But it's cool to have it. And now, let's do the shake. Grab a window, shake it, and everything else gets minimized so you can focus on the document at hand. Shake it again and everything else gets maximized. Now, because it's Windows, we want to have multiple windows open at the same time, but we want to be able to use them simultaneously. So grab an app, move it to the left hand side. You'll see this gray bar. When you let it go, half the screen gets filled up with one of the apps, allowing you to see the others that you have. If you want to work with more than one app at the same time, grab it, drag it to the top left hand corner. You see now a quarter of the screen gets used up by that particular app. Let's take Excel, drag it down to the bottom, Okay, that's half. If I let that go, bring a little bit down, a little bit up. Uh, there we go. And now you'll find I have the left hand side of the screen and using two apps at the same time. So we know if we click on the start button and then we go to the little cog, it's going to get us into the Windows setting menu. But did you know that what you can do is right click on the start button and then you're going to get access to a whole bunch of other menu options right at your fingertips. Okay, let's play with some tiles. Click on the start button and here I've got all my tiles, which essentially is shortcuts to frequently used application. Grab an app, find a space for it, drag and drop it. Now, if you right click on it, you're gonna get a whole bunch of new options like resizing it, running it as administrator, things of that nature. If you wanna get rid of an app, right click, unpin, and then it goes. But not all apps are the same. So when you right click certain apps like your calculator, for example, you're gonna get a whole new options like standard, scientific, programmatic, date difference, etc. So go ahead, find each app, right click on it and see what other options you are gonna find which are hidden within your tiles. Right, next up, let's use Cortana's voice assistant. Like, what's my next appointment? Next up, tomorrow. At 8 p.m., talking points to Amy for KLIF. What's the weather in Dallas? Right now, it's cloudy and 49 in Dallas, Texas. What's 10 times 7? 10 times 7 is 70. Add milk and eggs to my reminder. Sure. When do you want to be reminded? Now, some other features like flip a coin. 
and it will flip a coin giving you heads or tails. Or another one, let's try, roll the dice. You got a nine. Since we're still using our voice, go to start, go into settings. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna look up and you're gonna see time and language. On the left hand side, click on speech. And here is where you set your voice recognition and dictation. Okay, so I've left mine as US, but I've also put a little thing for the accents, which is nice for them to have. These are the various voices that you can get depending on the languages that you've actually installed. So here I've got English, Irish, I've got Hebrew, I've got United States, and I could add more languages as well. If I want to remove a language, click on it and then click on remove and that voice will disappear. So how do you use it? Is it really practical? Let's give it a bash. So let's close this, open up Word, and in Word, what you're going to do is you're going to press Windows and H, and that little thing's going to pop up. And now as you start talking, it starts to dictate and type everything that you are saying. You can do things like select all. Oh, there's a whole bunch of stuff. I'll probably do a whole video just on this. This is actually pretty darn good. Right, what about emojis? I mean, who can have a sentence without emojis these days? So with Windows, you press the Windows and the period or the full stop button and you get the Windows emoji that pops up and you simply select the emojis you want to use. Type, 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 Windows and the period and you've got some options to choose from. And much like voice dictation, it does work in other applications, not just words. So here is my Twitter account, for example. I'm going to type blah, 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 blah. Then I hit the Windows and the period and the same emoji menu comes up. Again, another little hidden feature. Right, let's get dark here. So here is my Windows Explorer. You can see it's the default colors. If I click on Start, I click on Settings. Then I go to Personalization. On the left-hand side, click on Colors. And now here is where I can choose Customs. I can make it Light Theme, Dark Theme. And then the default app, I can make that light or I can make that dark. And this is how you go Dark Mode. Even the good old copy and paste has got a little bit of an upgrade. Click on start, click on settings. Then we're going to go into system, click on that. On the left hand side, you're going to find clipboard, click on that. And here is where you want to say clipboard history, you're going to put that onto on. And you've even got an option to sync your information across various devices. So anything you copy on your computer, for example, you can paste it on another device as long as you're logged into the same account. So it goes up into the cloud and then it makes it available on other devices. Okay, now how does this actually work and why is it different from the normal copy and paste? Well, here's a line I would normally go Control C to copy, Control V to paste. Right, that's per normal, right? Now, what I'm gonna do, I wanna do the second half of that sentence. I'm gonna copy that and paste that. So now the first bit that I copied is now totally gone, right? Well, because we've enabled the history on the clipboard, we're gonna go Windows and V, and we're gonna get a new menu. This time it's gonna remember all the things that I copied to the clipboard. So for example, did you subscribe yet? Question mark, you should click on this link, and this is a link that I copied from my YouTube channel, and all I do is simply paste it from the list on the clipboard. And of course, add an emoji just for good measure. Remember, let me know in the comments which one you liked or if there's any more that I've missed out. Drop them in the comments below as well. Check out some more cool videos on Windows 10 and other stuff down over here. Hit the head below to subscribe if this is your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in those videos. Let's go.